I mean, if it's another Tiananmen Square, it's, I think it's a very hard thing to do if there's violence. And, you know, that, I'm president, but that's a little beyond me because I think there'd be, you know, I think there'd be tremendous political sentiment not to do something. So I hope, because I think we're going to end up doing a very good deal. And I think China, by the way, needs a deal much more than we do. But I really do believe that if this weren't part of the deal, possibly something would have happened already a long time ago. But for the United States to make a deal with China, Beijing needs to honor its commitments, beginning with the commitment China made in 1984 to respect the integrity of Hong Kong's laws through the Sino-British Joint Declaration. I assure you our administration will continue to urge Beijing to act in a humanitarian manner and urge China and the demonstrators in Hong Kong to resolve their differences peaceably. Uh, we are uh, very aware of the difficult situation in Hong Kong right now. We uh, repeat our calls for uh, peace, for de-escalation, uh, for uh, listening uh, by uh, local authorities and by the Chinese government to the preoccupations uh, expressed by the citizens of Hong Kong. There are 300,000 Canadian citizens in Hong Kong. It's the largest uh, group of uh, citizens of any country uh, in Hong Kong right now. So we're very concerned about them, but we also are very concerned about human rights and freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, uh, and we are going to continue to uh, call upon the Chinese government to respect the uh, one country, two systems uh, agreement that they have long abided by. Hong Kong's 